Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll rationalize this expression. We have to rationalize the numerator of this expression. Now as you can see, this expression is in the form of a fraction and we have to rationalize the numerator by getting rid of the radical in the numerator. So in the numerator, the radical is on two terms. The first term, square root of x plus h, and square root x. So we have to get rid of both of these radicals. And for that, we'll use the conjugate method. So as per the conjugate method, we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator expression because we have to get rid of the radical in the numerator. So conjugate is an expression with the same terms but opposite sign between the terms. So in this case, we'll multiply the numerator by square root of x plus h and then plus square root of x over and we'll multiply the denominator by the same expression the square root of x plus h plus square root of x we can rewrite this expression. So we get, so in the first parentheses, we write square root of x plus h minus square root of x, and then close the parentheses, times square root of x plus h plus square root of x over, so in the denominator, we get h, times square root of x plus h plus square root of x. We can simplify the numerator by doing the distribution. So we'll have to use the FOIL method in the numerator. So we multiply the first term by the first term and then these two terms and then these two terms and then these two. So first we multiply square root of x plus h by square root of x plus h. So we get just x plus h. So these two terms are the same and they have the square root on them. So when we multiply them, the square root goes away. Now we multiply square root of x plus h by square root of x. So we get plus square root of x times square root of x plus h. Now we multiply negative square root of x times square root of x plus h. So we get negative square root of x times square root of x plus h. And then we multiply minus square root of x times positive square root of x. So we get just minus x. And in the denominator, we have h. So in the denominator, we should not distribute the terms. Now we can simplify the expression in the numerator. There are like terms. So square root of x times square root of x plus h minus square root of x times square root of x plus h cancel each other out. So we get x plus h minus x over h times square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now we can simplify the numerator by cancelling out the x terms because they are like terms and they have the opposite sign plus x and minus x. So in the numerator we are left with just h. And the denominator stays the same so square root of x plus h plus square root of x and close the parentheses. Now we can cancel out the h's because they are on their own in the numerator and denominator. And now we are left with just 1 over square root of x plus h plus square root of x. So this should be the final answer for this problem. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to 
homework help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.